considered since I've been a father of faith, diba? and uh, he was considered righteous by what he did. Uh, Abraham believed in God and it was credited to him as a, a righteousness. Na? So, uh, alam natin, uh, is the faith is the substance of believing what is unseen. Na? Naniniwala tayo, even though eh, hindi pa natin nakikita, even though hindi pa ito nangyayari. Na? Abraham, by faith, believed in God. Na? So Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Abraham, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied, The parent would are here, Isaac said, but there is the lamb for the burnt offering. Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. No? Buo po, no? ang pananampalataya ni Abraham that God would provide an offering. No? Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, nagtitiwala siya, di ba? Umabot man dun sa punto na may offer niya ang kanyang anak na si Isaac. No? Alam, alam ni Abraham no? by faith na no? kaya siyang buhayin ng Diyos. Alam ni Abraham na kaya siyang palitan ng Diyos. No? Dahil uh, ang, ang pangako sa kanya ng Diyos is that he will become a father of all nations. It means many children. No? So, yun po ang pananampalataya ni Abraham. He believed in God. No? Kaya... Uh, Nagpatuloy uh, siya pumunta dun sa mountain at uh, isinet up yung altar for uh, burnt offering and lay down dun si, si Isaac ano, at nung time na dumating na yung time na uh, i-slay na niya, papatay na niya si Isaac with the knife uh, an angel of the Lord came and spoke to Abraham and they si uh, Aram and the bushes no, na nag-provide ng uh, offering ng uh, Diyos uh, in substitute for uh, Isaac, no? But uh, what was displayed there, no? Is yung uh, pananampalataya ni Abraham that he believed in uh, uh, God, no? Kung ano man ang sabihin niya, kung ano man ang uh, ipagawa sa kanya uh, ng Diyos, hindi man niya alam ano yung mangyayari sa mga darating na araw, hindi man niya uh, makikita kung uh, bubuhayin ba uli si Isaac, kung kapalitan ba siya ng uh, uh, ibang Isaac, ng ibang anak, na, but by faith, na, Abraham acted, na, Abraham lived by faith, na, nabuhay siya sa kanyang pananampalataya. Na. So, ayun man po, na, uh, a lot of times our faith are being uh, shaken, our faith is uh, being tested. Na. Gusto ko pong makita, uh, 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 gusto ko makita po natin na, na in this uh, situation, na, kaya nga, uh, Even though Abraham have proven in himself time and again uh, sa kanyang Diyos, hindi po tumigil ang Diyos na i-mold, i-structure, i-shape ang character ni Abraham. Although sabi ko nga, ang tagal uh, na, na uh, uh, sumusunod ni Abraham sa Diyos and uh, napatunayan na niya ang kanyang sarili, no? hindi po tumigil ang Diyos para hubugin po yung uh, pananampalataya, yung character ng kanyang kaibigan. So, maging tayo man po, no, sa situation po natin uh, ngayon, no, uh, hindi po tayo uh, pwedeng uh, uh, manibigan na dun sa uh, haba ng panahon ng pagiging kristyano natin, no. Hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na 30 years na akong kristyan, no, or inugat na akong kristyano, nagka-orchids na ako, no. Uh, habang nabubuhay po tayo dito sa mundong ibabaw no? uh, at uh, namumuhay ayon sa pananampalataya hindi po tumitigil po ang Diyos na hubugin tayo, kinisin tayo di ba? kikinisin at kikinisin pipinuhin tayo uh, ng Panginoon hanggang dun sa uh, ma-achieve natin yung uh, uh, gusto niya no? na, 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 na hugis or mold structure natin No, we will continuously and persistently be changed from glory to glory. Ika nga. No? So, wala po yan sa, sa tagal mo na naglilingkod o sa tagal mo ng kristyano. As long as nabubuhay po tayo no? dito sa mundong ito. No? Patuloy at patuloy tayong uh, uhubugin ng ating Diyos. No? And uh, uh, at, uh, patuloy uh, tayo na, na dapat na mamuhay uh, based on the principle of faith that uh, God is doing uh, continuously, amazing, miraculously things sa buhay po natin. Huh? So, hindi man natin na uh, uh, gusto marahil at times ang mga paghuhubog sa atin na, ng Diyos, ang mga pagbabasto niya sa atin, di ba? ang pag-discipline, 
niya sa atin, nasasaktan yung ating emotion, di ba? At uh, uh, we feel that uh, God is not making sense, we, 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 we feel that uh, God is not uh, doing us a favor, na dahil na contrary siya, dun sa gusto natin, na? But uh, always remember, sabi ko nga na walang uh, ipapanukala or walang gagawin ang, uh, ang Diyos sa buhay natin na ikasisira po natin, no? na ikakapahamak po natin. No? If we know what is uh, best and pleasing for us, no? God knows better. No? So, uh, we should learn to, to live by the principle of faith that uh, God uh, is working and continuously working po sa buhay po ng bawat isa sa atin. No? So, let us not uh, uh, live or avoid uh, 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 living by, uh, uh, by feelings, or by emotion. No? Uh, huwag po tayo, ano, uh, tayo dito. Alisin natin yung masyado, na, di ba? masyado tayong uh, uh, sensitive, no? emotionally. I know we are people uh, of uh, emotion. Di ba? Meron tayong uh, damdamin, di ba? But uh, always remember na it should uh, always be the principles no? of the Word of God over and beyond our emotion. Di ba? Huwag tayong yung madaling uh, uh, mag, uh, ano, mag-retaliate ika nga or mag- uh, uh, negatively or magkaroon ng, ano, ng negative uh, feelings or emotion towards uh, people, towards uh, situation. Uh, let us live by these three principles. No? Yung principles of trust, trusting God, principle of uh, obedience, no? yung uh, pagsunod natin, no? at yung ating uh, uh, pananampalataya. No? So, huwag tayo kagad uh, ano, ma-driven or huwag tayo kagad ma-convince. No? Tayo pa naman laging convinced na convinced tayo lagi ng ating uh, uh, emotion. No? So, madaling, madaling lang paliwalaan yung mga uh, feelings, feelings na yan. Eh, di ba? So, pero tingnan natin ano ba yung uh, uh, katotohanan ng salita ng Diyos. No? Uh, uh, baka makita natin na, na kung ano yung mas... Uh, mas uh, better or kung ano yung mas uh, tama, no? mas uh, wasto, mas uh, righteous no? rather than uh, basing on our feelings. No? Dahil in reality, no, maging, hindi lang po life in general, but maging sa church, no? this, uh, this uh, uh, a problem uh, crap inside uh, the church, that the church inside the church. No? Uh, nakikita po natin ito maging sa loob ng iglesia, Uh, nangyayari po ito when, when, when people, people of God are uh, uh, doing things or making things uh, based on their feelings rather than based on uh, the principles, di ba? They do or not do, uh, they do or do not uh, do things based on their feelings, di ba? Kapag feel gawin or kapag hindi feel gawin, di ba? So, kapag feel uh, na mag-volunteer, feel na kumilos, then uh, they will do. Pag hindi feel, then they will not do. No? So, kahit sabi ko nga, in reality, kahit sa loob ng church, di ba? Kapag hindi feel yung sermon, hindi makikinig, di ba? Will not pay attention, di ba? Kapag hindi feel yung pastor, di ba? Will not attend, di ba? Hindi ko feel tong pastor na to eh. Di ba? Medyo jolox tong pastor na to eh. Di ba? Mas, uh, hindi, eh, hindi kami mag, uh, we cannot meet on the same page, di ba? Or pag minsan naman, pag uh, hindi gusto yung sermon or pag tinamaan ng sermon, di ba? Piling ko, tinitira ako ng preacher na to eh, di ba? Piling ko, pinapatamaan ako nito eh, di ba? Uh, always based on feelings, di ba? And uh, people uh, hopping from one church to another, going from fellowship to fellowship. But uh, what thing is for sure, if you are uh, uh, doing this uh, based on your uh, feelings and emotion, the same thing will uh, happen uh, again and again. No? Uh, mauulit at mauulit lamang yun, no because uh, 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 what you're doing is just entirely based on uh, feelings no? rather than uh, the principle uh, of uh, the word of God no? yung uh, fundamental truth ng katotohanan ng salita uh, ng Panginoon no? so we as a follower no? uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, men and women of God no Uh, uh, I uh, uh, encourage no? uh, and uh, uh, admonish no? uh, na bawat isa sa atin na no? uh, 
tingnan natin yung uh, uh, mensahe uh, based on the story of Abraham, uh, based on the three principles na nakita natin kung uh, paano kumilas, paano nag-respond uh, si Abraham base dun sa uh, panawagan, dun sa bagay na uh, hinihingi ng Diyos sa kanya uh, na gawin. No? The principle of trust, principle of obedience, and principle of faith. So, huwag laging puro ano, uh, emosyon. Yeah? Uh, learn to uh, depend and consult first the word of God. Uh, so, in conclusion, so when we make decisions at the heat of the moment. No? Yung heat of the moment ba? Yung bukso ng damdamin ba? No? Dahil sa na anuhan tayo, yung, yung ego natin, yung pride natin, na tamaan, na, na balatan tayo, na kalisgisan, di ba? Yung ana pala ibuhan ng uh, pag uh, may pag natatouch yung ganun natin at the heat of the moment eh, sa uh, uh, nagre-react tayo eh nagde-decide tayo eh ang parang gusto natin lalo na pag nasaktan tayo emotionally di ba pag may sinabi sa atin eh di ba may hindi magandang sinabi sa atin ang gusto lang mag-retaliate minsan eh ganun ka din di ba parang uh, may response ka agad di ba with the with, with, uh, the, with uh, the heat of the moment or heat of the situation di ba nakakalimutan natin that uh, we are men and women of God that we live by the principles not, not by emotion but always remember that it must be reason first before emotion no? so yung rason yung yung principle no? ng, ng katotohanan ng salita ng Panginoon muna bago yung uh, bukso ng gandamin no so, delikado yun. Pwede mga maatake ka pa, di ba? But if you will calm yourself no, and uh, 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 look into the scripture no, and always remember that uh, uh, you are a man and women of God no, who lives uh, by the principles and not by feelings. No? So learn to trust, obey, and have faith in God. No? And Hebrews 10.23 uh, has an additional encouragement that said, Let us all consider swerving need to the hope we profess for He who promised is painful. No, alalahanin natin, sabi ko nga, the principle does not change. No? The truth of the word, the word of God does not change. Our emotion changes from time to time. So it is dangerous, no? Kung yung mga hakbangin natin is basis sa pabago-bagong emosyon, no? So be a man and women of principle. No? So yun lamang po, to God be the glory, at uh, sana po may natutunan tayo at uh, or, or inspire uh, tayo, no? Sa na, mensahe natin narinig, yung sa kwento ng buhay ni Abraham na kung paano siya nag-respond. Amen? So, just po, 